Hello everyone, welcome back. All right guys, every now and then on, whether it be Facebook or other sites like that, uh, every now and then I'll see an anomaly hunter that's found something really cool. And uh, I'll ask them if I can use their material that they've found um, and I'll pass it along to you guys. Why? Because I think these things need to be seen. And a lot of times these guys don't have their own YouTube uh, account or they don't have, you know, they're only just showing a, a, you know, a small amount of people. I want to get it out to the public. I want it just like when you share my videos or anybody else's videos, you're getting it out more and more so that people can actually see these things. Right. All right. So this one here is no different. Uh, this uh, gentleman named Ivan had found this particular photo. And I want to pass this along to you because this is just cool. Um, so let's have a look at that. Now, this one here is Ivan, and you can see he posted this, and right here you can see Martian Genesis. My goodness, this is amazing, really pro uh, real proof, rather, of civilization on Mars. A clock, the arrow is still there, it stopped at 45. The hourly uh, arrow is missing, part of the circular base on, on the top is still there. Now, I'm just going to zoom into this for you so you guys can actually see this, and you can see where he's actually mocked this off, right there, showing the shape of it, and on the bottom hand, of course, you've got what looks like a hand so by all accounts it actually does look like this i mean this is just crazy and i said you know what i asked him he said ivan you mind if i use this in my next video he says absolutely yeah he says that's fine so uh i said okay cool so i thanked him for it so this is not my find this is ivan's and you can see that um now let me show you what th where this comes from because this comes from a pan uh, that Neville Thompson has done and you can see up here MSL 1450 with the camera one M100 and it's a PDS which is basically the better quality photos that you can possibly get so the PDS is the way to go so uh, uh, th big thanks to Neville for this now I'm going to go ahead and just reload this page and this will actually zoom in right on this and show you exactly where it's at now you'll see that in a second it zooms right in and you can see this thing Check this out. I'm going to go just full screen so you guys can see this better. Let it recenter. And it really does actually look like, I'm going to zoom. That's the best I can do in there. Uh, but here you go. Actually, it should be like this. Uh, but you can see this right here in the dock. It's got this rounded piece here and what looks like an arrow to it. And you can see that. Now, you can see what looks like the center. And it has like this, it's got a certain height to this coming off this back, whatever this plate is. Uh, it, uh, by all accounts, it actually looks like some kind of weird clock. I've got a theory on that as well. I'm going to show you this, and I think you guys will like this too. Um, let me just move this aside for a moment. I'm going to back out. Is it possible it's this? Now, this is a, an, an elevator uh, floor indicator, and which has the arrow, and it looks like, and if you look at this picture here, um, I'm going to go ahead and just set, set that over here. Well, it doesn't really matter. Um, you can see the arrow right there, and it almost looks like it has an outline to it, but I'm not sure about that. But either way, it looks like it has this almost like a distorted one or some, something right there. Is it possible, guys, that it's that? I mean, either way you look at it, it's something anomalous. Now, somebody will just say, oh, they're just rocks. Well, if you think that's a rock, I don't know what to tell you guys on that. Because anomalous simply means anything that's not standard, something out of the ordinary, something that differs from the surroundings. And that's what I believe we're seeing. It's either some kind of clock half of a clock type thing or is it like i said this elevator um you know floor indicator all right here's another thing i want to show you guys let me just go right to we're not going to make this too long at all uh go right to photoshop and i want to just enhance this a little bit better for you guys to see this okay so we took uh you can see right there it was a little smaller hair uh let's let's go like this okay all right so let's zoom in and then we just change the colors a little bit better more natural and let's do this i'm going to zoom in for everybody on the smaller devices and you can see again with that little hand type thing and let's do this so i want it to be too distorted but you can see where i've taken some of the the darkness out of here and brought the shadows to get rid of some of the shadows in here and then we try to balance it off if we can. So in other words, there's brighter, I mean, there's more darker over here, lighter over here. So try to bring it down a hair bit. And then just, uh, you can see where I did it right here in this box, just uh, totally desaturated it. What do you guys think that is, man? I mean, I mean, it by all accounts, it looks like some kind of mechanical arm. 
It looks like some kind of plate in the back here. The only thing that kind of fools me or kind of messes with my head a little bit is that you can see here, right here, I know this, this arrow is small. I'm going to do what I can. I know a lot of you guys are saying, hey, you think you can uh, get something bigger to, to uh, show that. Um, you can see it right here anyway. It goes down like this here. goes over. Um, in fact, I can go like this. Well, that's a bit too big, though. Let's go down to like right around, eh, we'll go around here. That should work. And you can see it doing this. But this is what I have a problem with. It goes like this, but then this bottom one goes like this. So I'm a little confused as to, you can actually see it just a little bit kind of going through like that. So, to me, it is anomalous. It stands out. It's as plain as day. And uh, you couldn't get much plainer than that. Let me show you something else I think you guys will like. Let me go up here, up this... Uh, let me go back to the PDS. Well, I'm going to say pan and the PDS. And I want to show you guys something that's pretty cool. You just go up the wall, if you will. I'm not so sure this is even all natural, to be honest with you guys. But let's just go up here. I want to show you something that kind of looks like a strange rock. Uh, actually, there's a bunch of strange rocks in here. But check this out. Right here, goes up, stops like a nice, kind of like, kind of eroded 90 degree angle. But you can see that. You can see it going down. Uh, really? Uh, there's a lot of crazy things. If you just, just, and these guys, you know, they're hardcore. Like I've even found that what clock looking face thing on here. So, you know, these guys are hardcore. And that's what I love about it. You got these, and I still have some of your more, uh, the finds you guys have been sending me. Um, if anybody's sent anything through, uh, my email, uh, just go ahead and send it again because I get so much of it. So what I do is I cleaned it out. I said, what I'll do is I'll mention it again. Anybody else who's got some new stuff, uh, send it. And like I said, we'll see if we can get it on there for you. And some of you guys have also done that on my Facebook page, which I appreciate. And I'm going to try to get to these things. But man, guys, you wouldn't believe how bombarded I get with these things. It's just crazy. Here's another little thing. I thought it was kind of funny. I showed it to a friend of mine. He goes, oh, look, there's a little animal. I said, what? And, uh, I look it over again and... Let's go all the way down here. It's right here. And I said, what? I said, it's a rock, but it kind of does have that weird look to it. It has like this little eye right here. He goes, look, you can see the nose, the mouth, the eye. And I'm thinking, well, it, it kind of does. I guess it's the pareidolia playing games with you. But uh, yeah, it actually kind of sort of does, doesn't it? Um, anyway, guys, tell me what you think. What, what do you think is going on here? Do you think this is, um, you know, I don't know anybody's going to think that's an actual rock. But we do get plenty of people like that, trust me, right there. I mean, again, that's as close as I can get. That's Well, no, it isn't. Let's do this. Let's get right in there so you guys can really see this thing. What do you think it is? And like always, guys, throw a comment down below. Share the video. You guys know that. And you guys get the last say in the comment section what you believe this stuff is. I believe it is... Uh, it's just something else intelligently made. And here we are. We're seeing it again. So... Thanks to Ivan for that. We do appreciate that. And, uh, you know, guys, this I see this stuff all the time. And this is the reason why I believe that they're on Mars. They're looking over what's left of the civilization. And there's much more to it. They just want to actually uh, populate Mars. They just want to go back to it. When I say go back, I think we were actually came there at one point. We came from there. And uh, now we're just finding our way back home. Is it because we came here because of a natural disaster, which did happen somewhere around 1941? Uh, maybe a disaster they caused? Something we did to them? Who knows? It's all pure speculation. But it just makes the mind a little... It makes it... It just boggles the mind, actually, because, you know, you're thinking, okay, if we came from there, moved here, saying, well, you know, uh, you know that, that planet's no longer habitable. We just happened to get out of there before a pending doom or... Uh, it's kind of like what we're doing here. If you think about it, there's always this 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 fear of war. So what if uh, what do our elites want to do? They want to get to another planet. Why? What happens if we do? We come to this World War Three and just totally decimate this planet like was done on Mars, but now we can return to it. Who knows? And think about it. You know, if the people are saying, "Well, mankind's got to live on," and then somebody starts a war and we, like I said, we totally obliterate this planet. Well, then we're on Mars, too. But, you know what I mean? It's it's just crazy how it's not far-fetched to believe we were either A, once came from there, or maybe we had something to do with that those two big explosions in 1941. Maybe we didn't. Maybe it was them that killed themselves off. Who knows? Pure speculation. 
But anyway, guys, give me your thoughts on that too. What do you think happened? Do you think it was just something that just they did to themselves? Was it something that was uh, a natural occurring, you know, uh, kind of catastrophe? Leave your comments down below. Let me know what you think. Anyway, guys, got an older one coming up for you guys. It's from, I think it's from uh, uh, 184. Saw 184. And um, I was going to go back to this, but I saw this. Figured I'd bring this to you guys and let you guys check it out. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching as always. And I'll see you in the next one.